on the Fuka from Park, where the riders play. The team playing the U.S. game is called the Bootleggers. Bruce Chicago has the story. They're something more than weekend warriors, something less than hometown heroes. They're an all-Canadian team in an otherwise all-American league, playing in the nation's capital. These are the bootleggers. We're the only true Canadian team. Uh, we don't play in the CFL, but this is Canadian football. They play in the American Minor Football League Alliance against teams from places like Brooklyn and Baltimore. They seem to appeal to that deep, dark Canadian fans' penchant for American rules, American-style football, and that universal penchant for teams who win more than lose, something the troubled professional rough riders can't do. They get together, and they have a bunch of uh, good laughs. They play hard football when they're on the field. There's no, uh, there's no comedy there. Bootleg ball, as it's called, attracts over 6,000 to some games, partly with brash marketing like this promotion, Carolyn Waldo Night, handing out nose pegs in honor of the world champion synchronized swimmer. Later this season, they will go so far as halftime shows of midget tag team wrestling. It's at least a change from the endless series of Rough Rider losses both on and off the field. One of the things that we've got coming up is we're handing out kazoos so that the Ottawa football fans will be heard. And uh, I'd say that's a little bit of a page out of the bootleggers' book. On one. Ready? Go. Bootleggers play just for expenses, no salary. Most are ex-college or junior stars. The quarterback's finishing a doctorate. The right tackle is an accountant. A few had brief, unhappy stints in the CFL. When I quit playing football in the CFL, I just hated football. It was just a, a drudge day in, day out, uh, treated poorly. You know, you come here, you get treated poorly, but uh, so does everybody else. And a uh, great bunch of guys. The bootleggers insist they have neither the intention nor the ability to put the more established Rough Riders out of business. Rather than establishing a beachhead for American football in Canada, they claim to be merely trying to breathe some life back into the moribund state of football here on the Rideau Canal. Bruce Chicago, CTV News, Ottawa.